Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I'm going to show you how to make puffy paint. This is really an easy paint recipe to do and it's great for sensory skills. It's got a really cool feeling to it and when the paint dries, it's puffy. You need to have shaving cream, uh, just white glue and something to mix the two together. You will also need to have paint if you want to color your um, puffy paint. And we're going to choose red today because we'll be painting hearts with our puffy paint. So, and for the shaving cream, you can use just about any kind except menthol. I do not recommend using menthol shaving cream with this project. And I don't have an exact science to this. I do pretty much equal parts um, because I like the consistency of that. You may like to use a little bit less shaving cream or a little, um, you know, a little less glue. That's totally up to you. You got to experiment and find what you like and what you think will work well with your early learning environment. So I'm just going to do uh, half and half here. Maybe I'll do a little more than a half here for the shaving cream. Just put that in. This is a half a cup. So if you want a larger recipe, of course, you would just um, use more in there. So, all right. And then I'm going to put a half a cup of the white glue in here. And then I dump that in. And then you mix the two together. And it'll, it'll feel kind of thickish when you're stirring it. So you want to make sure you have the, the glue and the shaving cream whipped together good. Or not whipped together good. I'm thinking of whipping cream here. Mixed together good. And it does kind of have a, like a cool whip look to it. So you want to use supervision. Talk about that this is something that you, you're not going to be able to eat. It's for painting. You're going to use your fingers. And um, again, use some supervision with children, young children. All right, so it's mixed pretty good. Now we're just going to add a little paint in this, uh, it's just Crayola paint. I'm going to just add some in and then stir that up and see what color that makes for our hearts that we're going to be painting. And this is, you know, definitely something that children can do. Um, a little bit older children, you know, love to stir. They can mix it up. They can pour the paint in to get the, the color that they want for that. All right, and then um, I'm going to show you how you paint with it. That's mixed. All right, for example, we're going to use a heart and I have this available on my website underneath the video section. Um, it does have a border on one side but just flip it over and then how children would do this is they would just use their fingers. They could scoop some out onto the heart if they want to and then they would just mush it around. It kind of feels like a thicker a thicker shaving cream is what it you know because that's what it is actually but it's puffy and it'll dry puffy and have a nice texture to it. It's definitely a different feel than uh, finger paint. And then just go all the way around and fill in. It doesn't have to be a heart. You can just use regular paper or different kinds of shapes for this. But it's definitely one of our favorite activities for painting. Like that. And you want to make sure that you have your surface protected. I've lined our table here with wax paper and you could always tape that down to your table if you don't have a cloth covering under that or um, so you want to protect the table and clean up is easy children just wash their hands off for how to make puffy paint I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com and thanks for watching